MA 3D 3 designer has asked a question about Raycast. Hello everyone, I have a question. Is there a way to make the Raycast work with the AR plane and the back camera? So I suggested, hey, have you tried out our Raycast template? Uh, we have that feature feature built in, but they're asking, uh, they've tried the Raycast with the front camera and it works perfectly. I just don't know how to make the Raycast work with a back camera. Oh, um, I think maybe we should go to the project, uh, the Raycast game, check that out. The first thing that I, I haven't messed with trying to do it with uh, different front and back cameras yet. All right. Hit Controller. I feel like picking through this might look a little, might be a little uh, <laughs> much. Maybe we could create like a simpler example. Um, yeah, should we start from a blank project that uses Raycast perhaps? Maybe. Um, it's hard to say. This is, this is not something that I've spent much time with. Um, so I thought using the template example might be a great great way to do it. Um, okay, so the idea across all game engines with ray casting is um, creating this ray. And the ray uh, direction and origin and all of that uh, is basically world space. So it's the, the first thing that I was thinking, and I'm not 100% sure about this, but if you're switching between front and back cam, uh, it might, I, I wonder if the direction of the Z direction changes. Uh, I can't I think, think of it wrong, but I'm not sure if we can use both front and back camera at the same time. I think by adding the AR plane, it just forces your effect to be back camera. If you're making something with the AR then you can't change it at all. So they're probably. Yeah, if this is like ray casting from the screen to interact with objects, then you can only do it from one anyway. But here's the thing. Here, here's how I would figure it out if I encounter this problem. I would create vis visible objects that represent these, these points that I'm ray casting with, right? So origin, I would, let's add a cube. And this is how I learn everything. This is how I basically do everything. I would create this cube and maybe scale it down, but I would set its position to this same value as origin and then uh, maybe duplicate it. And I would set the position of this one to, oops, add. And you could do something slightly different, but I would, oops, I would add the position, the origin and the direction to this would be the tip of that ray. And I might normalize it as well so that this vector is always one distance away so that it doesn't like bounce too much. And then I would just add some updates here, just just so that every single frame, you'll see what this, what this value is. And this is where you would, uh, <laughs> so there's the cubes down here. And it looks like they might be getting double rendered because of this camera or something. You can just see these, oh, well, that's weird. Oh, it's at the environment light. Okay. But yeah, you can see this little, okay. Probably not too important. Um, but yeah, you can see this sort of angle now that I've cleared it up a little bit. Um, so as you interact and I touch on the screen, we can see the ray is changing here. So you can, stuff like this, you know, it's not perfect, but now I can clearly see where the ray is starting, where it's ending, and uh, get a pretty good idea of how this is acting, rather than having to just look at numbers and, and imagine it. Um, I hope that's helpful.